The salt-laced air at Starbase Texas barely had time to settle after Flight 10's splashdown. The echoes of that historic mission still lingered in the humid Gulf breeze, but there was no pause for celebration. At SpaceX, the pace is relentless, and the horizon is always shifting forward. Before the ground rumbled again, anticipation was already building. The Earth itself seemed to pulse with the energy of what was coming next, as if the land and sky were bracing for another leap into the unknown. The new space race is driven by SpaceX's relentless ambition and rapid, iterative development. Every setback is a lesson, every success a stepping stone. Teams work around the clock, pushing the boundaries of what's possible, fueled by a vision of humanity among the stars. Just 12 days after Flight 10, preparations for Starship's 11th test flight were already underway. The turnaround is astonishing. What once took months now happens in days, a testament to the evolving rhythm of innovation at Starbase. SpaceX's goal isn't a single perfect flight, but a fleet of reusable spacecraft operating with airline-like frequency. The vision is clear. Rockets that launch, land, and launch again transforming space travel from a rare event into a routine operation. On September 7, 2025, Super Heavy Booster 15 stood ready, skipping the usual pretest and firing all 33 Raptor engines in a flawless static fire. The roar was deafening, a symphony of power and precision, marking a new milestone in rocket engineering. This rapid turnaround is a validation of SpaceX's manufacturing and refurbishment prowess, turning science fiction into reality. Each booster is reborn, improved, and readied for another journey, embodying the spirit of innovation and resilience. Each flight is a data-gathering mission, shrinking the gap between launches from months to weeks. Every launch brings new insights, feeding a cycle of improvement that accelerates with every return to the pad. The world watches as Flight 11 approaches a test not just of hardware but of SpaceX's entire operational philosophy. Each countdown draws more eyes, more hope, and more belief that a new era of spaceflight is within reach. Every raptor roar signals the end of disposable rockets and the rise of a reusable multi-planetary future. With each thunderous launch, SpaceX brings us closer to a world where space is open, accessible, and part of our everyday lives. Rocket reusability is now routine for SpaceX's Falcon 9, a vehicle that has redefined what's possible in orbital launches. Over the years, Falcon 9 boosters have landed, been refurbished, and flown again, proving that rockets don't have to be single-use. But with Super Heavy, SpaceX is pushing the boundaries even further scaling up reusability to a level never before attempted. Booster 15 made history as the first Super Heavy to be caught by the launch tower's robotic chopstick arms. Now, it's preparing for its second mission, B-15-2, marking a new era in rapid rocket turnaround. This isn't just another reflight, it's a rigorous test of the booster's resilience and SpaceX's ability to refurbish under even tougher real-world conditions. Teams of engineers have meticulously inspected every weld, every joint, and every engine component, pushing the limits of what's possible in rapid rocket turnaround and reliability. Flying again so soon after a catch is the ultimate test of SpaceX's analysis, repair, and refurbishment techniques, demanding both speed and precision. Each successful reflight not only proves the hardware's robustness, but also demonstrates that rapid, reliable reuse is possible bringing launch costs down and making space more accessible. The ultimate goal is to make booster turnaround as routine and efficient as refueling an aircraft, transforming the economics of spaceflight. B-15-2 is a major milestone, showing that the catch maneuver isn't just a one-off stunt, but a repeatable, reliable process that can be integrated into regular operations. Its success signals a permanent shift in aerospace, no more single-use rockets destined for the scrapyard, but a future where rockets are flown, caught, and flown again. Booster 15's second flight stands as a symbol of sustainable, economical access to space, paving the way for more ambitious missions and a new era of exploration. With each launch, catch, and relaunch, SpaceX is mastering the intricate dance of rapid rocket reusability, bringing humanity closer to a truly spacefaring future. Booster 15 is paired with Ship 38, a pristine upper stage aiming for a new milestone true orbital flight. Ship 38 has passed cryogenic proof tests, proving its structural integrity for the mission ahead. Speculation swirls that Flight 11 could carry the first operational Starlink Vi-3 satellites, transforming Starship into a working cargo vehicle. Deploying satellites would mark a new phase, operational utility and commercial viability. Before launch, Ship 38 must pass a crucial static fire of its six Raptor engines. 
This test is the final hurdle before stacking atop Booster 15. Ship 38 embodies SpaceX's iterative design, inheriting lessons from every previous flight. Each mission refines the design, making Ship 38 the most capable yet. Its flight will test whether those hard-won lessons have truly paid off. Starship's greatest challenge isn't launch, it's surviving the inferno of re-entry. Flight 10 revealed plasma leaks through tiny gaps in the heat shield tiles, eroding the thermal barrier. SpaceX's answer for Flight 11, the Crunch Wrap, a robot-applied seal around each tile replacing fragile gap fillers. This innovation aims to make the heat shield robust and maintenance light, essential for rapid reusability. The Crunch Wrap's performance will be closely watched, its success could solve the last major obstacle to full reusability. Automation ensures consistency and speed, turning the heat shield from a bottleneck into a manageable process. If effective, the Crunch Wrap unlocks countless reflights and affordable routine space travel. Sometimes a thin wrap around a tile is the key to a multi-planetary future. Starship's rapid progress is built on the foundation of Falcon 9's decade of success. With over 500 launches and landings, Falcon 9 made reusability routine and reliable. Each mission refined processes and built the expertise now powering Starship's development. Falcon 9's propulsive landings and rapid refurbishment are now scaled up for Super Heavy. Starlink, with over 9,600 satellites, provides both revenue and a perfect customer for Starship's massive payloads. Starship will build Starlink, and Starlink will help pay for Starship. A powerful synergy. This vertically integrated ecosystem gives SpaceX a commanding lead over competitors. Falcon 9 and Starlink provided the resources and confidence to pursue Starship. Starship is the ultimate expression of SpaceX's philosophy fly, learn, and fly again. Flight 11 marks the end of the Block 2 Starship era, a generation that pushed the program to the edge of orbit. These vehicles tested engines, software, and solved engineering challenges, paving the way for what's next. It's also the last mission from the original launch pad Pad A, soon to be replaced by a more advanced tower. The upcoming Block 3 vehicles will feature higher performance engines and designs optimized for mass production and rapid reuse. This transition is essential for moving from prototype to operational launch system. SpaceX's philosophy is constant innovation, retiring old hardware as soon as something better is ready. Flight 11 is the bridge between Starship's experimental past and its ambitious future. NASA is watching Starship's progress closely. Its Artemis III lunar landing depends on SpaceX's success. The world's eyes are on this partnership, as the outcome will determine whether American astronauts return to the moon for the first time in over half a century. Every milestone achieved by SpaceX brings NASA one step closer to realizing its ambitious lunar goals. The mission's complexity is unprecedented. Starship must master in-orbit propellant transfer, with up to a dozen tanker flights refueling a depot in orbit. This ballet of rockets, fuel, and timing has never been attempted at this scale, and it's essential for carrying enough fuel to reach the lunar surface and return safely. Each step in this process is a leap into the unknown. This technology is unproven, with first tests set for 2026 and the pressure is mounting. Engineers are racing against the clock, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in spaceflight. The world is watching, and every test is a high-stakes demonstration of innovation and determination. Every Starship test, from Booster 15's reusability to Ship 38's heat shield, is a step toward the 2027 lunar landing goal. Each launch, landing, and inspection provides critical data, helping engineers refine designs and overcome new challenges. The path to the moon is paved with these incremental victories. The stakes are high. National prestige and the future of American spaceflight hang in the balance. Success would not only mark a new era for NASA and SpaceX, but also inspire a new generation of explorers and innovators across the country. Flight 11 isn't just about breaking records, it's a critical step on the journey from Texas to the moon. Each successful launch brings us closer to a future where lunar exploration is routine and humanity's reach extends far beyond Earth. SpaceX's relentless pace and innovation are essential for fulfilling the Artemis contract and making humanity multi-planetary. Their drive to iterate, test, and improve is setting new standards for the entire aerospace industry. The outcome of these early flights will shape our future on the moon and beyond. The decisions and successes of today will echo for generations, 
opening the door to a new era of exploration and discovery across the solar system.